Hi everyone, and welcome to this video on economic inequality in India. This topic is all over the news, and there are a lot of strong opinions out there. Today, we'll break down the key points in a clear and simple way, using the work of famous economist Thomas Piketty and others. Rising inequality. Piketty's research shows a worrying trend. The gap between rich and poor in India is widening. The top 1% now control a massive share of wealth, more than even during British rule. This has led to calls for wealth redistribution, often through a wealth tax on the super-rich. But the story isn't so simple. But the picture is more complex. Let's look closer at the data. While the top share has grown, the overall economic pie has also gotten bigger. This means even the bottom 50% have seen their income rise in real terms, not just a smaller slice of a bigger pie. Why are the poor still struggling? Even though their income went up, the bottom 50% still face huge hurdles. Limited access to education and capital restricts their ability to climb the economic ladder. So how do we fix this? Instead of punishing the rich, let's empower the poor. By making it easier to get loans and education, economy can level the playing field. This is called increasing economic freedom, but there's more to it. We need to address issues like unequal property rights. The wealthy often have an unfair advantage, making it even harder for others to catch up. Wealth inequality, a different story. Now, let's talk about wealth itself, not just income. Here too, the gap is huge, but wealth inequality is a natural part of a market economy. The problem is when the rich get special privileges that keep them on top, no matter how hard others try. Wealth tax, not a magic bullet. Some suggest a wealth tax to fix this. But taking money from the rich might sound good, but it can have unintended consequences. Businesses might invest less, hurting job creation and growth. The tax burden might even fall on regular people in the form of higher prices. The rich invest their wealth, which helps the economy grow. A wealth tax might stunt this growth, hurting everyone in the long run. So, what's the real answer? Let's focus on empowering everyone to participate in the economy. By giving people the tools they need to succeed, we can create a more inclusive and prosperous society for all. There's no easy solution. Instead of punishing the rich, let's focus on creating a level playing field by dismantling barriers and promoting economic freedom. By empowering everyone, government can build a brighter future for all of India. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts on economic inequality in the comments below. Remember, like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.